It's about that time where everyone makes arbitrary lists about things that happened in the past year. So I thought it would be a suitable idea to do a list of the five worst things that happened in 2014. This is in no particular order, and there are probably some things that you might personally find more terrible, but fuck you, this is my list. Number 5 You remember this fucking abomination? Despite actually being released in May of 2013, Flappy Bird only really came into fame in early 2014. Never before had I seen so many people lose their minds over such a garbage-free mobile game. The fact that it has so many clearly stolen assets from the Mario games, and the fact that it was so fucking stupid and terrible. I'm trying to think of a reason as to why it became so popular out of nowhere, but I can't. It's like those celebrities that become celebrities by just being celebrities. Why do we care about them? Because in the small amount of time that Flappy Bird was up, the creator of the game was making $50,000 a day through ads. And then when he took it down because he was worried that people were getting addicted to it, he received multiple death threats from angry Flappy fans, which was followed by a flood of phones with the game install being sold on eBay for nearly $100,000. Fucking idiot. Number 4 Usually these celebrity deaths have no real effect on me. Sure, it sucks when someone dies, but it's not exactly a rare occurrence in this world. Despite this though, when Robin Williams died, it just came out of nowhere and had a much more potent effect on me. He was probably one of the last actually likeable celebrities I'd expect to end his life in the way he did. And that's the saddest thing. How even despite being so likeable and providing so much entertainment for millions of people, it still wasn't enough to counter his depression. And that sucks. That really fucking sucks. Number 3 now this one isn't really a terrible thing per se, despite the fact that hundreds of people on board a plane mysteriously vanish and are presumed dead, but it's more just weird. You would think that in the 21st century, with all our crazy technology, that something as bizarre as this could never happen. But evidently not, because not only one, but two Malaysian airlines completely disappear with only mere months between each other. And still, as far as I'm aware, no one knows how or why it happened. The only reasonable explanation is aliens or ghosts. One of the two. Probably ghosts. Number 2 Innocent unarmed black people being shot by police officers is not exactly something new. As shitty as that is to say, it's true. But Ferguson is seemingly the straw that broke the camel's back. Protests and heated debates rightfully waged on until the grand jury decided to not indict the officer, doing nothing but proving how broken the justice system is, and causing more protests and frustration. How many more innocent people need to be fucking murdered for nothing before some much needed changes are made? Unfortunately, I don't have an answer. But this event is not something that should be forgotten until something proactive is done about it. Number 1 it's been a long time since one of the biggest threats to modern society has not originated from something dickish the human race has done, but instead be a super scary disease that has a 50% mortality rate. Since March of 2014, the biggest outbreak of Ebola in history has taken the lives of countless people. It's still an ongoing problem that's going to continue on into 2015. It doesn't seem like it's going to become quite as endangering to the entire planet as some might have initially thought, but even so. It's still a pretty horrible thing. Why can't deadly diseases painlessly turn you into flower petals or butterflies or something? It always has to involve profusive diarrhea or puking. So horrible. So there it is, folks, my list of the five worst things of 2014. So what do you think? Can you think of worse things that happened? Did I leave anything major out? Tell me in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. I'll see you next time. Bye!